Hello. How are we? <laughs> I'm um welcome back to the John Mayway. Mm -hmm. I've got today a start as Bank Holiday Monday. Tier Pro opens on the twelfth. My barber's opens on the twelfth. So I'm putting myself in like a comedy fitness camp for 103 days because it's 103 days to be first show and I want to have it as I say I put three stone on over lockdown so I'm gonna um, I want to I wanna look good but it's not about that when you look good you feel good and that's all it is I've done something to my wrist playing Craig fucking with Mark Nichols fucking giving him body shots and that was about fucking five weeks ago and it still hurts <coughs> um, so I'm getting up in all awkward positions and it's fucking killing me and I, I don't like being overweight and I don't like feeling old and that's how I feel so let's go on our walk oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's been a year to the week since I stopped doing these little vlogs because obviously Shit went a bit mad. But I'm going to tell you about me year since. So I was training for this men's physique show in Warrington in May the 21st, I think it was. And I trained for three months and I put my heart and soul, heart and soul into it. I've done my vlogs and this is how the YouTube channel started. And I've got a load of new subscribers. Nice one. But it's dead down to the funny videos I do. So the, these videos might be for you. So, if you don't want to watch them, don't watch them. But if you do, welcome. So, I started this channel last year to hopefully inspire people to... Because I was in a bad rut. I was, I was, I was in a bad relationship, blah, blah, blah. And I found myself in a rut. So, I wanted to build myself back up. But in Because I knew I could do it in the same time. I wanted to try and inspire people to do the same. To say, look, you can be in the depths of hell. But you can build yourself back up and look and i was going to get on stage be in great shape every oh, happy ending and all that but obviously covid come but i'm grateful um i was a fucking mad year um it's been great I'm, I'm very grateful for lockdown personally you know um obviously it's it's, it's sad for some but my personal thing is the world stood still for me the stresses of the barber shop, maybe the stresses of doing the show, the stresses of all my, uh, everything. So I went back to doing what I enjoy, and it gave me a chance to be creative. And I've been an actor for years. And my mate said he's a casting director. He said you need to carve your own path. So that's all why I wrote this short film. Just and we were going to hopefully get funding for that. Smash it, then get funding for a film. Blah blah blah. But it never went that way. And then I started doing these little funny videos as Instagram stories with Karen and Kirsty. And that was about just taking the piss out of lockdown, sort of saying, you know, it reminds me of Christmas, everyone getting ready and stuff like that. And I've done them two sketches. And then it's sort of like, people are just doing another one, doing another one. So I've done another one. And I just kept doing it. And like, people were, it was great. It was like lockdown. I just started and I was making people smile. I was making people happy. But I was enjoying it in the process as well. So I think a lot of fuck off. I think a lot of fucking wasp. I think a lot of people um I got got, got depressed during lockdown. I didn't. I uh, embraced it. I made the most of it. I enjoyed the world standing still. And obviously we started developing the characters like so. Um Karen and Kirsty, and then I found a wig in the barbers one day when I was in the barbers or something. I went, no way. So I, I give Karen a fella, Kenny. I remember this lad coming in the barbers once, looking at the name of him. But he started doing this weird laugh, and I've known him all his life. I'm like, where's that laugh come from? He's like, ha ah! So I thought, I'll give him that laugh. That was funny. And then Decker come, yeah, all right. And then it sort of it started to develop, but then it become like, become like a little series because Karen Karen and Kirsty no sorry De Kenny and Kirsty were having a bit of a fling and I'd done that as a joke I thought what am I going to do for the next one and I thought I'll make a story and that's how the Corona Mums Mums series started and then we was going to use Derek and my Instagram just went mad it went fucking mad so last year I had 
4,000 followers. I'm meant to be on a walk here, aren't I? I meant to be. I had 4,000 followers this time last year. I'm on 61 and a half thousand now, which is which is fucking mad, isn't it? It's fucking great. And um, yeah. So we done that. Blah blah blah. And I loved it. It gave me something to do. It was great, and it was making people smile. And I was getting hundreds of messages off these NHS workers, and I was getting messages off people who were ill, people who live around the world who. Who are from Liverpool and haven't been here for years and it, it was great, it was fucking great and I enjoyed it. Um and then this fella got in touch with me from this event company. Like he, he's he's a manager, he's a promoter thing. And um he said, Do you want to do stand up? And I was like, and to be honest, I ignored him at first. Sorry, Craig. And then um I was I was meant to speak to him, I never spoke to him. And then um, I ended up, I gave him my number and he phoned me and then I thought I like the idea of it let's do it so I put a pressure on myself like but this is where the live show is coming in and um, it's going to be great you know it's like a one man show and I'm playing every character and you're, gonna, you're probably thinking how the fuck are you going to do that I've got it all planned I've just got to write the jokes well I've got most of them I've just got to make it Anyway, so this three months that I'm doing now, it's all about that. It's about preparing for that. Um, which is great. I put weights on, I'm, I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy at all. But it's okay, John. Everyone's put weights on over lockdown. Everyone has. Good for you. <laughs> but I, I, I'm not happy. So I need to do something about it. So I'm using this three months, 103 days, as an excuse to, not an excuse, goal it's a tag so yeah so when I get on stage I want to feel good because I'm going to be bouncing around playing about 10 different fucking people so I want to feel good there's no spots fuckers in me fucking little spot the cunt my fucking bench like you got some weights in the house this one's about 400 quid never used them once these kids think I'm filming they think I'm a nonce I'm not a nonce I'm not a nonce and erm um, <coughs> So yeah, so I want to feel good when I get on stage. I don't know what to say, I haven't done this for a while. A lot's happened. I've got a lot to say. I've got a lot to say. A lot of self-development, like, I've worked on myself a lot. I've learned a lot from last year. And I had Corona in January. I was pretty ill. And um, was it, I felt myself falling into a little bit of a rut again. Do you know, do you know what got me out of it? Do you know what sprung me back? watching my videos from last year as bad that so it was like speaking to a leaner healthier version of myself telling me to get a fucking grip and um, what else do I need to say I don't know looking forward to the gym opening good to back in tier pro tier pro is not just a gym it's full of characters and I think that's where I developed the fucking well the barbers on the gym because I used to fucking mess around in the gym doing all these characters and they're the people who've become these characters I've created. Right. My plan for all this, what I'm doing, is I want my own fucking, I want my own show. I'm speaking to a producer and I have been for quite a while. So hopefully we're going to develop it and make it into a show. That would literally be my dream come true. Because I've done videos in the last year on what happiness is and what it means and blah blah blah. And it's not about it's great having a big house, it's great having a boss car, it's great having this, blah blah blah, but it doesn't make you happy, does it? I know what it's gonna make me happy, I think. And my happiness lies in doing what I enjoy doing around the people I enjoy being around. And that's it. That's it. Imagine up jumping up every day doing what you enjoy with the people you like being with. I think that's what I want, I'm pretty sure. Because every day I'll be a fucking blessed man. I had the videos as well, I think. When I first started, it was like, ah, oh, we? And like little cliches and stuff like that. And there's only so long you can do that. But that gave me the little platform in order to sort of showcase me as maybe a writer, um, an actor, a comedian. And I don't know, fucking produced them all myself, haven't I? So a producer as well, I suppose. But um, like the last video with Craig, where he's fighting. Um, I wanted to add a bit of depth to it because people are invested in these characters now. Everyone hates it. He got first, thought he was a nuts. 
And now they're all cheering for him because everyone wants to fucking put an arm around him. So that's, I'm adding a bit of depth. There's two episodes left. And I'm done for a while then, to be fair. I need to go and concentrate on this stand-up. Well, it's not even stand-up, it's a show. I'm not caught, I'm not a stand-up comedian. I've never done it. I don't claim to be one. How can I? It's disrespectful to fucking stand-up comedians. I'm doing a show. It's a live, one-man show. And that's what it's going to be. And, um, yeah, I haven't really done much walking on this walk, have I? What else do we need to say? I've got lots to say. But I can't just, you know, splat me loud straight away, can I? So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy coming on my little journey with me. And everyone's looking at me weird because I'm filming myself. I'll just black them all FaceTime. Yeah. You said FaceTime, yeah? I want to... What I've got to do. You've got to start getting up early. I've got to start drinking four litres of water a day. And I'm struggling with that. Once you start, though, you're back on. I need to be having my meals every day. I need to really review my food because I'm fucking sick to death of chicken and fucking rice. It fucking bores the fucking life out of me. People think I'm filming the kids, you know. I'm going to rise here. So, yeah, I need to start my walks again. I'm going to do my little calendar. The gym, three. Three times, I'm only going to go three times a week. But I just need to... Healthy mind. Because once I'm in a healthy place... Well, I'm in a healthy mind. To be honest, I've got a healthy mind. I'm probably the healthiest mind I've ever had in my life from maybe when I was a kid. Um, I go to therapy, I have done for a long time. And it's not because there's anything wrong with me. I just like it, it's guidance. It's like going to the gym, you know. It's like going, you know, it's like, it's like going to a PC. It's guidance. It's the same with, um, I don't want to think some sort of I like Queen. It's like, um, and I like to work on certain things. So self-esteem, is, is an issue I've always had. It's it's a lack of self-belief. Um, but I'm working on that. I'm working on that big time. And I've, since I've been working on that, things have changed massively. It's mad. It's, it's just, you know what, if you want to change an aspect of your life, if you want to change something that you don't like about yourself, you can do it. You've just got to apply yourself. That's it. So anyway, I don't know what else to say. I'm a bit rusty. I'm doing this for a while. I'm tired. Because I'm lethargic because we die and we fucking lifestyle that's why but i'm sure i'll become more animated as these videos come on <laughs> thanks for watching the john may way